All right, we are back, uh, and we are in this particular section. Okay, so if memory shows me correct, I just came out of here guns blazing, and I accidentally made a lot of sound. Uh, and by a lot of sound, I mean shooting three people with a shotgun, two people with a shotgun, and strangling the third. Stay alert. Um, and because of that, people were running across. And then I missed I missed my jump, because uh, I'm a klutz. And they found the dead bodies, and I was like, ah, well, this isn't going good. <laughs> Uh, and I think I'm able to kill these guys without making too much sound. There's one. Wasn't a headshot. There's two. I think that's it. I think there's a third one that runs up the hill for some reason. Um. But I think I remember more people coming. What the fuck is that sound? Oh, they're shooting at me. Okay. <laughs> Makes sense now. I guess they somehow heard that I was coming up this way. That's, that was weird. <laughs> I think I need some blank shooting here because, uh, why not? Another headshot? Triple headshot. Like I said, headshots in this game are so fun to get. And they're relatively easy. The shooting in this game is a lot of fun. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna keep saying it because it's, it's fun. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure what's up here, uh, except just getting over here. It's a bunch of ammo that I don't need. Um, oh, actually, I do. I need some of it, it looks like, but nope, I'm full. Never mind. <laughs> one, was, one part was telling me to pick it up, the other part was telling me that I'm full and I'm ignoring that part. <laughs> now, what I could have done uh, if I was sneaky is I could have broken open those barrels. Uh, uh, not the barrels themselves, but I can break uh, the things surrounding them, and they then have the barrels like fall down the hill. No way around. I've got to cross. Ah, the mountain. Okay. So this is uh, another one of those, one of those segments. It's like a pseudo scripted. <laughs> no, I, I call it scripted. Because <laughs> I had no way to avoid that. But here is one of those sliding down moments where we, you know, slide down some hill. Um, however, this is the first time they've that we've had the since we've got the shotgun. Like one of the no, this is the second actually. I guess what I'm trying to say is now it's going to be one of the segment uh, longer segments that has shotguns. And getting uh, killed here means I get impaled, which I think I do here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, let me explain. <laughs> the segment's like really, really fast, and moving in water uh, is rather hard. Um, I understand it's a rapid, so I, I, I assume it wouldn't be easy. Uh, but it is definitely hard to control where you're going, and you have to get like really, really close towards the edge, which I didn't do there. Uh, and I got impaled twice because I'm super smart. Um, but you have to stay like really close to the right side without going to the right side. Because if you don't go this exact pathway, then there's, I think, I don't think there's a way to get past if you go to the right of the plane. Um, so you have to try and avoid everything, and then try and stay as far right as you can after going left the entire time. And I was finally able to do it. We got into the plane. And we are now in one of the shittiest positions you could ever be in anything ever. Uh, yeah, um, there is a parachute, can I grab the parachute that I Fuck it. And first par parachute fails, fuck, that's not terrific. And now we're flying. <laughs> now this flying segment is rather weird because you can get hit if you get too close to a tree uh, by a branch but it's hard to tell like it, it's sort of like the last segment where it was hard to move left and right it's sort of hard to tell like how far left and right you can go near the trees so it's like please don't hit the tree it, maybe can we not now that is scripted to happen uh, I think I hope <laughs> I do believe that is scripted Yeah, she's getting, like, 
she's she's been getting beaten up in the last 14 parts. I I don't understand how she's breathing. <laughs> Like, the only thing she's had to eat is, is deer. And I was like, I don't even think she got to eat it because she got a call with, from Roth and then she got, you know, kidnapped by a freaking group of Russian uh, survivors. And so look, now we're finally trying to find first aid. Um, I think we should have tried to find first aid when we got hit by a rebar. <laughs> or not hit by it, we fell on top of it and like impaled ourselves. And then had to rip the thing out of us. I went back here just to see if there's anything, any collectibles, because uh, usually there's a collectible the the opposite way you're supposed to go. So, you know, it's, it doesn't hurt to double check. But you'll notice that we are moving much slower. Uh, since she is actually in pain for the first time in this entire game, uh, we can't actually climb up things. So, and we get hurt by just sliding which is, is weird because we've been sliding throughout the majority of this game um, Might be some supplies on board. yes yeah, so we're trying to get to that uh, that plane however we can't we cannot climb up anything because we're too injured and too tired it's nice that that added the fact that the fatigue is now an actual problem for her um, you know, before she was like running around, oh, let's go to some rebar, let's just fall down, you know, stuff like that. But now it's like, okay, maybe we should just calm things down. What about the other one? No, nothing. Gotta keep looking. Oh, yeah, I was, uh, I can now see uh, objects like collectibles through walls and whatnot. Um, and I was trying to see where everything is, and I was trying to climb up, and then I realized I, I cannot climb up, it hurts too much for her. So. It does damper a few things. Um, I don't know if I can kill myself by trying to climb up things too much. <laughs> I'd assume not, but Just fell. the screen is definitely changing colors a lot, a lot more often than I thought it was going to. He sounds like he died. See, loosening a tongue is not the same as murdering him. Just saying. I assume the old man is Roth. Uh, So I tried to be sneaky and like uh, tell him, like try and trick him to go that way, but for some reason they turned around and decided to shoot at me. Uh, it's like, oh, there's an arrow in that wall, lol, what's behind us? Uh, lol. Oh, this guy is giving me a juke, that's right. It's much easier to do a rapid fire with a pistol than it is with a bow and arrow. Um, I think I find. Oh, it's just ammo. Never mind. And there's some bushes that are just too. There's just too much for Laura to pass. Uh, and I don't know how to get up there. Oh, wait, no. I, I remember how to get the salvage. This is, I guess, one way to do it. <laughs> so you can trigger the traps and then shoot at the, the lock. Or probably just shoot the lock. That probably is an actual option that I just didn't attempt. Because um, I didn't know it was... I didn't know the trap was there, to be honest with you. <laughs> Even though I randomly, you know, walked by it. Ah, oh, there's a, the last rifle part. And I think it modifies our weapon to an AK. It goes from a uh, World War II weapon to an AK-47. I forgot the, the weapon. I think it's a... I don't remember the weapon that we have, the, the the name for it. Oh, this is when I was realizing there was a little courtyard in there with a bunch of stuff. I think I saw like a little plant to collect and I was like, oh, how do I get in there? I assume I have to get in after Laura 
or not Laura, sorry, Lara, uh, after Lara is not as in, as much as in pain. Because she always seems to be in a lot of pain. <laughs> but this is uh, a little too much, I guess. I mean, in all honesty, I would have been dead on the boat. <laughs> I don't think I want to survive past the boat crashing, let alone getting dragged off and uh, hung upside down. Oh shit, look at that. Uh, how do I get in here again? Oh, there's a bunch of rope. Up. I should... That's right, I didn't notice the rope uh, until now. Um, that's why I took my shotgun out and threw my body against the, the door. Apparently not the, not the right thing to do. Who'd have thunk? She looks like she's on drugs. She's like, God. <laughs> and we got painkillers, I think. Uh, or not. Wait, did our wound open up, or did we get a new one? Because she seems to be holding the same area as uh, as the rebar, so I assume our wound actually opened up. But here's a lighter. So not only do we have the fire starter for our torch, we now have a lighter, um, which will help uh, a different item. But a lighter worth the arrow. Uh, you can already tell where this is going. we got to close the wound somehow. And... Uh, this is one of the more painful options. Yeah. Nonverbal shouts of pain. <laughs> Thank you. Such beautiful text. <laughs> Jeez, it's gonna fucking hurt. You gotta give it to Laura. She can withstand a lot of shit. Oh, this is when she's noticing a, a new ad adjustment to the bow and arrow. She's got like a Jimmy Neutron moment there. Brain blast. So yeah, she's uh she's added the 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 lighter to, to the end of the bow to make fire arrows. It's a pretty pretty nifty idea. I don't know how stable or plausible it would work, but <laughs> it's cool, <laughs> nonetheless. A lot of shit just happened. I'm in some kind of shanty town near the fortified palace. I'm still coming down the hill. How did you get there so fast? Long story. I can see the town from here. Are you near that large gate? I'm heading towards it. Well, now you know where I am. I'm, I'm at, Roth. Don't worry. <laughs> so now it introduces the idea of fire and oil, um, and how they are not the best of friends. Oh, well, it really depends. Um, so now that not only do we have the fire arrows, we also have the rope arrows, right? And the, it's kind of hard to not shoot fire-based arrows. <laughs> Um, cause I think you have to like, double tap, I think it's one for normal arrows, and then you hit one again to make fire arrows. Um, it's just, it's just mean shooting fire arrows at people's faces. And they blew that self, blew themselves up, I think, <laughs> in that one shot. Good job, good job guys. I can see why he get paid the big bucks. Lots of explosives nearby, which is a lot of fun. The cool thing about the headshots in this game is that you don't really have to fully wind up your bow and arrow to, uh, in order to get a headshot. If it hits the head with a... Like, if you can just, like, lazily fire it and it still hits the head, it counts as a kill shot, which is really fun. It makes things a little easier. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I have to upgrade my, uh, my weapon. Uh, which I think I do at the campsite after I cleared everyone. But I think this was the end of the recording session after this little skirmish here. Let's everyone attack right now. Let's just rush a person who has a pistol. <laughs> and get headshotted the entire way there. <laughs> So the assault rifle can be modified, modified, it? yeah, modify uh, into an AK, I believe. My skill, what did I go for here? Was it more salvage? Was now the part where I was like, or climber's agility? Okay, climber's agility. I take less fall damage. Pretty nice. Um, and it is an AK, yes. I think I go with more damage. Yep. And more rounds. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, that should be it for this recording session. I will hopefully come back uh, next time with a live recording session, which will be great. We'll continue uh, trying not to kill Laura the entire way through this place. But shit is hard. <laughs>